How's it going, everybody? Wolf here, back with another Sonic 4 video. Today we are on the Medieval account, which is, uh... I thought it was going to be one of our strongest accounts, but I think out of the three... Um... It might be second best, or third best, actually. Beast and Light Dark is surprisingly doing really well. I was not expecting that. But, this account, um, off recording, uh, got a very special, just random Mystical Scroll summon to add to the team. I don't know if you can already see him flying around, big blue down there. But, uh, yeah, we did pull ourselves a Varad. And dragons are medieval themed, so that, I was so happy when I pulled him. And then, like, right after him, I pulled a Chimera. I was like, well, I don't really know what Chimeras fall under theme-wise. I, I know I'll be able to use them on, like, the Beast-like account, but I don't know outside of that, so. But we have Varad, the TOACC king. At least he was back in the day when I played. I don't know if he is now anymore. I'm still using my main account to get through 2A hard and all that stuff. He's just awesome. Um, so what's so great about Varad is his last two moves. Re this one resets their attack gauge and freezes them. And if they're frozen with this one, he makes it two turns instead of one. And all of his damage does damage on his defense, which he is a full defense monster, which is nice. He's even got an HP leader skill that goes everywhere. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we're on some really bad violence set. As you can see, we're only plus 64 speed. <laughs> we haven't started farming giants yet. This is just, like, what I've collected from the event and stuff like that. And just tried to, like, put runes on him so he had something for the video. But, um, I just unlocked where we need to clear Trial of Ascension 450. And you know what? I haven't got to try him, so I want to try him out. And we've also got it to where I am now working on Second Awakening my Bernard, just to make my, you know, my giant seem a little bit more secured, so we can go up to like I think where they're I think they're farming floor eight or nine. I want to get to ten like the light and dark is doing. So, but all right, so we're on forty one, and I want to get to fifty. So let's see what we got here. We definitely want Varad. Varad is. Gonna be awesome. Lucian's not bad, AoE. You're not bad, AoE. So we've already got a really solid team there. We could technically bring you for another thing of AoE. And then we could have like either Megan or Bernard for just attack bar manipulation. Kind of. We can go her. We have double armor breakers. So, I think what we'll do. This team should be fine. So, let them AoE. Ah, well. You can't control how the AI responds to everything. He's gonna be, a, I feel like he's gonna be amazing. For TOA, the fire uh, Geralt, just because he has double AoE, which is great for despair. His third skill can apply like three dots and stun the target, so like he's he's amazing. But yeah, I love Rod. He's probably out of all the dragons. Well, I don't have the light one. I don't. I've never pulled the light one, but out of all the dragons. Uh, he is probably my favorite out of the ones. Uh, oh, what's the win one called? Jameer? He's he's great, too. I like, his kit's perfect. All the dragons are pretty much... They, they do what they're supposed to do, so... Alright, so we need Strip, and we need... Yeah. No, I guess we don't need Strip. They'll just KO everything. <sighs> But hey, the account is slowly coming around. So we're slowly getting somewhere. I just need to get to where the my teams can do um, floor tens of stuff so I can start farming runes better. 
Good old snowstorm. Yeah, I think they're gonna be able to do this for easy. I don't know how high this team could get. But, um... I guess this is like what... This is like the revive section of, uh... Ten floors for TOA for normal. Because I know like every ten floors, I think it's supposed to be like themed around some type of, uh... Shenanigans, and I think this one is like the last wave is always based around like revive. I think I could just be wrong, just reading into it. Uh, oh, that was I enjoyed that. Lucian, if he was fully skilled up, he probably would just one shot that, but yeah, because these all revive. This might be a little bad. We do not have uh, immunity or cleanse, so. Hopefully those jokers don't do too much damage with their bombs, or they derp. Yeah, because I don't have anyone who, uh, outside of Megan right now, I don't really have anyone who strips at the moment. Maybe if we ever get, like, Light Joker, or, uh, Light Magic Knight, that could be beneficial for us. He's gonna bomb. He's totally gonna bomb. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. It's definitely... Oh, my goodness. 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 Okay, so... Wow. Well, we need to think of something there. Okay, so... That didn't really work in our favor, did it? Um... Yeah, I really don't have anything to combat in that with, except for her, and that's just of like a kinda. So if we do this, yeah, I guess we'll try this. This gives me a revive. I might have to take over this just so the AI does it correctly, but we'll see. Okay, I'm actually going to take over here. I just want to make sure they do it right. Cause I want to, I don't want to be stuck on this floor for no dumb reason. Okay, so let's see here. We're gonna go for you first. We're gonna do this. See if we get some despair stuns. We get a couple. We can actually reset the attack gauges. Guess we'll do this. All right, so bombs are definitely gonna be coming out. We just need to waste turns. Does this strip? No, it doesn't. Lots of bombs incoming. Yep, yep. Yep. I can extend them. That's about the best I could do. Hey, extending them worked. <laughs> I was like, uh, we can extend the bombs? <laughs> okay, so that one. All right, we can go back to what we were doing. That's a tricky wave right there. But we had a way around it, so. I would like to be able to get TOE 100 done on these accounts. Mostly because Light and Dark, well really with Light and Dark I only need to do up to like TOA, was it uh, is it 90 that gives you the Light and Dark? So, I really just need to get up to that. Because the Legendary Scroll doesn't really do too much for us. But the other two accounts can um, 
definitely benefit from uh, all the goodies that you get from TOA. That's another reason I wanted to farm the giants so badly is because I want the despair rune so I can start working on like a TOA team to, you know, get through these floors. Because early, early game, we're not going to have the, the room power to, you know, just muscle our way through it quickly. We want to just do it safely, is what I want to do. That's just how I approach this game, is I want to just farm safely so I know that I'm getting everything without wasting energy. So... But at the moment, we were doing fine outside of just that one instance. But we were able to fix it on our own, so. And you know, guys, I've not spent any money on this account. It's mostly all just been luck based, so. But I mean, they gave us so. They give you so many scrolls at the start as a new player. So, you're bound to pull something. I'd actually have more net fives available to me if I wasn't doing a theme account right now, but since we're doing a theme account, this is what it is. I am happy that I was actually able to pull a, uh, what is it, a crossover uh, mon. I've always had bad luck in Summoner's War of pulling anything that's released. I'll get it like a year or so down the road, I'll pull one. I'm pretty sure I got Lucian from the new player, like, you can pick a summon to summon. Because I was like, Lucian's just a great monster in general. Dungeons, PvP... He's just a good boy. I think I am working on getting my Varad skill max now since I got the Fire Geralt done. This one's probably going to take a second because that's a lot of revive. That was a good uh, CC right there. All right. I forgot what I don't. I don't remember what wave fifty is because I don't pay attention to it. My main account just goes through it. So I actually need that secret dungeon for uh, I believe Paladin because it's the only feasible monster I can build outside of uh, Fire Vampire and Wind Magic Knight. It is the only Nat five. Uh, fusion I can make on this account. So I don't. I don't know. I don't think Phoenix's count is mediev medieval, but I don't know. They definitely are represented in Harry Potter, and Harry Potter's, you know, I guess medievalish. Oh, I love watching. I love watching Varad stuff go off and just nail everything. It's even more rewarding in like PvP because you're like, I think I win this most of the time. Ooh, um, this one could be a little tricky. I actually think Lucian's not that great here. I think I'm going to go with a healer this time. So. Yeah, because they can do like a lot of healing. I mean, we have a lot of AoE also, so still. See, I want one of those. That's like such a good strip that applies a random debuff. <laughs> Still doing like 32,000 damage. 
Oh, the arenas are going to be annoying. I just don't see people use arena anymore for like anything. Oh, we have one, I just don't have it built. Okay, I'm gonna like, get my skills back up. Well, I was. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this. You can't remove rods, CC. Can I reset your attack gauge? Sure can. Let's buff. Let's keep poking. Keep poking. Let's get some dots going. Rods oh my gosh. Um This might be problematic. I was kinda hoping to get a He's gonna get lots of turns because he's gonna remove like all their debuffs. Because my Varad's not skill max, so we didn't get our stuff back. Yeah, like, he just fully healed everybody. Uh, the new uh, Veramos is really annoying to deal with. Um, I'm going to wait for his attack gauge to be up higher. I can do this, though. I'm going to wait for her to buff again before I do that. I guess we can try and kill all the garbage around him first. Can we CC a little longer? Yeah, because he can't remove those. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna keep focusing like this stuff. I guess we gotta we gotta kill the trash. Ooh, I don't know if I wanna do that. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that yet. Heard us why. He's really the only one with... Okay, so he's about to do the removing his stuff. I'm going to go ahead and start attacking this guy. Uh, can we get like a attack edge pushback? Sure can. I guess this is the easiest way to get his HP back down. Alright, he's about to go again. He is going to remove some... Right, let's do another AoE. Let's buff. Alright, if Varad can proc here, that'd be really nice. Oh, Varad did not proc here. I need my healer to go again. Alright, reset. We did not land it on the... Ugh. Alright, we did get some attack gauge. Uh, I'm gonna have to heal. I didn't want to, but I have to. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere now. Okay, so... This is like... <laughs> Really annoying to deal with. Okay, so we do have a reviver. I'm not too worried about that. Pernas have to die twice. That's so tedious. He can't be dotted, so Megan eventually will just be able to spam, like, melee attack him, I guess. buff. Uh, that was actually a huge pot shot. So if we could do that again, that'd be awesome. Oh, uh, don't attack break him. We're actually doing quite a bit of damage to him now. I was actually kind of open for an armor break there. Alright, I'm just going to do the freeze part. I'm not going to do the other part. Let's heal up a little bit more. Can we reset? Let's go. 
Is this KO? Oh, let's go. We did it. All right. We beat floor 50. Whew. Ugh, oh, that makes me feel a little better about myself. All right, so we have to collect this. Um, I think I'm just going to keep dumping in dilution at the moment. Then we get amp. Let's not. We'll get card. Engrave summon. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to do it because I've already gotten Varad. I did not get Varad from that either. I got hit from just a regular scroll. Alright, so we got that. Floor 70. Let's see what we get out of our scrolls and stuff first. We don't need none of that. We got one of each of those, and we got two of these. Not useful. Not useful. Skill up, that is useful. Alright, so no lightning. We did get a skill up for our next witch, which is going to be her. She needs so many. She'll be good for, like, uh, dragons and stuff, because her third skill removes all harmful effects on all allies and heals for like a certain amount of like all the debuffs that are removed so it'll be really good against dots um but i mean we'll see what we get but uh, i think they're almost done on this yeah they got three left or two left after this one yeah they got two left and then I'll go farm my cowgirls so we can start working on fusing her. And then I guess I'll just have to like... I'm not in a rush to build her, but I'd like to get the, at least the secret dungeon stuff out of the way. But, uh, I mean, we've made progress on the account. I think I try to get like one of each type six starred. Um, like water, fire, wind, light, dark, just so you get those bonuses. Like, I could six-star Darien right now, or I could six-star her. They could be my light and dark six-star summons. So we get them. But I really want to, like, six-star Varad, because it's Varad. Uh, especially if I'm wanting to climb higher in TOA, I feel like Varad would be... the way to go. What do you guys think? I think I should 6-star Varad. I mean, he's a nat 5. He's great for TOA. The things I would be 6-starring aren't going to give me any benefits to the dungeons I'm doing at the moment. Hmm. I feel like I could just 6-star Varad and be happy. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh. Like I could just 6-star Varad and be happy. You know what? We're going to 6-star Varad and be happy. Where is he? Boop, 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 boop. I mean, I have enough to, like, probably six-star one or two more things just with what I have. Thank you. Boop, boop, boop. Let's collect all this energy. Oh, yeah, the... our guild stuff. Oh, we got 30 minutes. I'm surprised we won that last skill battle, because, uh... It was looking a little thing. I do need to update my defenses because I'm pretty sure my stuff is just, I put stuff in there. Yeah, like, I just put stuff in there. We have so many new units that we get here. I don't think we'll get any defense wins, but hey, at least we'll have some stuff to scare people around our level. But, um, it's like here I could change up my defense a little bit. We could do like Barad, you, you, and him. We could try that out. I don't think it's going to be any better than what it was, but hey, you never know. <sighs> but there we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We made 10 more levels of progression in TOA. We got to use our new big boy right here, our little dragon boy, Mr. Varad. I'm so happy to have him. I kind of hope I get the other dragons. I'm hoping to pull some archangels. I would not mind actually getting... A Death Knight. I do have a poll going on right now. If you guys think they're fan medieval fantasy, I think they are. But I want to know what your guys' opinions are. 
Because uh, they buffed the Death Knights quite a bit from what I've seen. Um, where are they at? I'm going to go to your Awakened form now. Like, now does damage based on max HP. Does damage based on max HP. Corn. Attacks the enemy to steal the enemy's HP that's equivalent to 30% of your max HP and disturbs the target to in addition destroys the enemy's weapon. <laughs> like, that is so much. The cooldown time of return will reset if the enemy dies from this attack. Like, that's crazy. We see him. Same thing. He does defense and attack power break. Removes harmful effects granted on all allies. And grants a dure effect for one turn. In addition, grants immunity and HP recovery. Like, that's a ridiculous move right there. Like, that's crazy good. And their leader, school, their leader skills are good everywhere, too. Same. In addition, recovery. Okay, wait. Inflicts damage proportionate to your HP to all enemies. And weakens their attack power for two turns with this infinite chance. In addition, recovers the HP of all... Oh, recovers the HP of two allies with the lowest HP by 10% of your max HP. Like, what? And then, revives a dead ally and evens out the HP ratio of all allies. In addition, recovers the HP of all allies by 15% for two turns. Like, they've definitely buffed these boys since the last time I played. Alright, so his is still based off max HP. Changes the HP ratio and harmful effects with the enemy target. Boss is excluded. An ally with the worst HP condition and increases the tech bar of all allies by 20%. Trade. Okay, so like if one ally is at 1%, he trades it with one person on their side and gives them all the harmful effects that that ally had to them and then increases everybody's attack bars. That's kind of ridiculous. I'm pretty sure he's a Hall of Heroes that'll eventually come up too. And we know we're about to get Diaz in this next one. This tech does more damage. Decreases the chance of receiving critical hit by 50%, reduces the damage received from light attribute by 50%, and reduces the damage that other allies take by 50%. Okay, so I don't think they changed Diaz at all. It's just the other ones I think all got... Because he's just nice in general. He's just a passive damage reduction on all your your monsters. But yeah, I'm hoping to pull some Death Knights, because they would be crazy good for this account. But um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'm going to see if the new tablet will share the screen with uh, my computer and my um, air server. I don't know yet because uh, it's Samsung and I'm old and i got to figure out things. But um, if it does, then I'll have a fourth theme account which was voted on, which will be Asian. I kind of got it started. I did some summons just to see what units we get. They got some and we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!